There was this really good sort of film thing called 12 Years a Slave. I wasn't sure I'd understand it because I haven't seen one year's a slave or two years a slave or any of the others, but it turns out that didn't matter because I didn't understand it anyway. They all had to collect like bits of cloud that had got stuck on trees, which sounds like a really nice job from a furry book, but actually looked quite knackery. I'm not saying this lightly because it's a big label to put on someone, but I actually think some of the boss people in it were a little bit racist. They kept treating him like shit. And you're like, tell him to shove the job, mate. But he never did. It was good they made it, but they didn't really need to because they don't have racism in America anymore. When they voted for Obama, they sorted all of that out, you know, drew a line under it. These days, America's changed and black people can be whatever they want to be, as long as it's either president or shot. There was this Australian man called Rolf Harris who'd come over to Britain years ago and hung around for ages like Australians do, working as a sort of odd job man for the entertainment industry. He'd committed all these terrible crimes years ago and then escaped from the past and tried to get away with it by hiding in now, but luckily they caught him. Police have searched the home of Sir Cliff Richard. The BBC tried to do this new kind of celebrity reality show, Cross with the Bill. What they did was they started searching famous people's houses on TV, people who hadn't been arrested or charged with anything. They had all cameras outside and they flew over in a helicopter so you could tell what a building looks like from the air when there's police inside it that you can't see. It was sort of like extreme through the keyhole, where instead of thinking, who would live in a house like this, you were thinking, how the hell is this allowed to happen? Which is an interesting new spin on it. After it went out, the reviews were terrible, like people said it was worse than Tumble, and they got loads of complaints. I don't think it'll get another series, to be honest. Usually politics is really boring, but this year it got more interesting because it had Russell Brand in it. It was good because when politicians talk, they use all this boring language normal people don't use that you can't understand. But he cut through all that by talking in Victorian. In the phrase that these women have come up with, so, uh, social housing, not social cleansing, is incredibly germane, incredibly apposite. Then he brought out a book called Revolution about how unfair everything is. And so you'd know he meant it, he pulled a serious face on the front. It was about how catapultism is naughty and how we could build a better world if we were nice to each other instead of spending all our time thinking about coins. Energy companies are subsidised by our taxes while renewable energies are ignored. I know you can't support that system, Evan. He'd talk about how the status quo keeps the working classes enslaved, which I found sort of boring compared to the stuff he used to do about putting his dinkle into granddaughters. What he's saying might actually be stupid, but it's hard to tell because he says it with clever words. We don't want pedagogic figures coming in and didactically shouting at us. So the only people who can actually tell if he's stupid are clever themselves, and they think everyone's stupid compared to them anyway. Basically, the only way to find out if he's clever or stupid will be to do everything he says and see if society totally collapses and hundreds of thousands of people die. There was this comet which lived miles away in space and these scientists were trying to land a probe on it so they could find out more about it, like what it was made of and if the weather was nice there, that sort of thing. The science people are all in the control house looking at computers and then when it landed, they were really happy, which was lovely to see. Anyway, the news coverage was really great, totally comprehensive. They'd spoke to all the science people who'd done it, and one of them was this science man who was wearing this sort of rude shirt with all drawings of ladies' bums on it. Possibly the water, the 50% water ice we find on a comet, could have been a de uh, delivery mechanism to the Earth. People on the internet said he was a bit silly, and then they said he was a bit wrong, and then a bit bad, and then sexist, and then oppressive and horrible and disgraceful, and totally and unforgivably evil, and that he should apologise. And so the next day he did. The shirt I wore this week, um, I made a big mistake, and I offended many people, and I'm very sorry about that.